Alright, hey everybody, Mona Weasen here. Uh, kinda having funky audio issues go on. That's why I don't have the usual part where I start up at the uh, save screen. But, you know, this is a new session. It's about 12.25. It's midnight. Uh, if you recall, uh, last night we left off here at about 3.20. But, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some more exploring here. If you recall, we got that uh, teddy bear after this hidden object scene and got a postcard. And we'd gotten the info on uh, Elmore Bly when we got that last kite. So we kind of learned the significance of all that. Uh, I'm not quite sure, you know, if I need to have electricity first, but I think since we're here, I'll just see what happens. Okay. Incredible. Uh, vapor appears to be temporarily regenerative. Perhaps I've underestimated the dust I've collected. So, we'll, we'll do it again. Hopefully that doesn't count against us or something. You know. Alright, so it's gonna say the same thing. I just wanna make sure. Uh, I guess now we will. Now I'm actually hearing something. I thought it was a uh, hidden object scene, I guess now. Okay. So it must just be in the background music. <clears throat> it's kind of cracking and popping, I don't know issue is, but, uh, that of course was our hidden object scene, or HOS, as I've tried to coin for this game. You might have seen it in the, uh, title descriptions and blog. Alright, this looks pretty cool. It's, uh, Malgrave's back lawn. I don't know if that's the, uh, cemetery, or, I guess graveyard in this one. Uh, we'll see what this is. or something. Okay. Once more, uh, it's a puzzle and I do not know quite what the objective is. <laughs> you know, all I'd know to go on is maybe like the eye and the star here or something. change that one every time. Guess I didn't do crud now. Uh, that did this one. Ah, that changed a lot. Okay, there really doesn't seem to be in here, I guess. Uh, there's probably a clue that would make this a whole lot easier, which I don't believe we have. Yeah, I'm fairly certain I can sit here and just randomly push buttons until we get it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I want to do that, though. I mean, that's right, I just, I don't know how to... star, which is right there. And it does nothing. 
Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave here. You know, I'm, like I say, we can mess around with it and figure it out, but uh, I think it's probably better to get a clue. <laughs> you know, as opposed to just you know waste everybody's time at this point. Uh, looks like there's a leak of purple dust over there, but that looks a lot cooler at this point. Let me see, uh, we can use a magnifying glass, apparently. Um, I'm gonna back up and see, I think you can look at that. I wonder if there's any means across this toxic. Okay, I'm wondering if we don't ignite the cannon, if we won't, like, drop something here. I mean, I do see hose here, maybe we have to, like, pump it out. Now I was thinking about it, there's still a lot in this game to be at the 80%. I mean, like, I don't know that we can go in the mine or not. I kind of think we can. And then there's the uh, mausoleum still in two gears to get in that. So, I'm not really sure which way to go. Maybe this way. This. There appears to be no way around the toxic. Smelling water is blistering. Ah, postcard. Alright, so again, the Union Jack there. There's the statue. Uh, we got some doves or something. So it used to be two cannons. Uh, that's what every good house needs, you know, there's a couple of cannons in the backyard to ward off, you know. Crappy neighbors. Scalding hot the way through. Anyway, I guess we'll uh, shoot this sucker off. Let's see what happens. Very cool. Okay, so now I just gotta figure out how to get across there. back over here see if we can do anything with the hose because that is actually the same style hose that we see in the pit. And of course my statues probably had to get across here. And actually I see stuff there. Maybe the statue turns into a pump or something like that. You can kind of see like there's all the little Items there, like around the stone that we saw in the puzzle. Which again, there's probably got to be a clue for this somewhere, you know. But I'd assume we're trying to match, you know, each one with the other. Uh, where are we at? Nine minutes. I wonder if we can go back to the electrical puzzle and, uh, that may be what we do. This is pretty neat. But, uh, yeah, I feel like there should be a clue. Oh. That's kind of glorious floor inside, thriving beside neglect. Okay, mentioned this place, strange daughter. I'm kind of wondering if Rachel isn't his daughter and Elmore uh, was the granddad, but I don't know. 
So we need that too. You know, piece for that. Okay. So yeah, there he's wondering about that. Let's see. There's no purple dust, oddly. But I'm gonna head back over here and see if we can get power. Because I was thinking about this overnight. Uh, here's that puzzle. We actually have the pieces here. And I'm wondering if we can't get a clue that will save me a ton of time. Uh, which where was that one? Wasn't it uh, north by northwest? I was kind of thinking maybe it needed to be over the pig. Or was it west by? Well, let me check. Which again, it would be nice if I could cycle through this a little quicker. Okay. West, northwest, and south, southeast. So, oh, this would be west, that's northwest, but to make green, it would be over red. And then south, southeast, I wonder if it's not here. Because I tried, you know, I mean, just going in the directions, and it didn't, so, I mean, the pigs must have some, you know. Oh. Nope. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, not sure why I didn't do that yesterday, but we're gonna head up here, see what's going down. Again, I mainly wanted to find a clue because I've done puzzles, I think almost all of them, without having the freaking clues. And, I mean, it works, but at the same time, I'd kind of like to do it, you know, I guess the way they intended or the easy way. Ah, too dark to investigate. I guess he's gonna, yeah. So, gotta be something we can do. Longevity corn feed. So maybe they're having a uh, battle over the uh, purple powder. Looks you know. like we can push that bag, but yes, that is uh, pretty cool. Looks like it's uh, yeah, it is wood. So I guess the cogs are wood too. Um, don't see anything else? So we'll just nice. So, up we go. Let me check the time. Uh, 13, I'm doing pretty good. Okay, it's a little more light up here. Uh, we can do something with that, but of course, before I do that, I've got to check around and explore a little bit. There's the uh, statues. Okay, so that's actually apparently what is uh, holding up the windmill on the outside. You know, when we see it turn, we're coming over in the little bucket. Uh, to extract. Can we not just. I guess we can't grab it. Uh, I don't think the hook. Oh, maybe the tongs? That's a heck of a pair of tongs right there. I'm sure that head isn't light, but uh, so uh, even though that one's broken where the head was, it's like the uh, windmill. Oh, and we inventory that. So maybe we go back to the uh, water utility or something. There. Oh, and there should be. Well done, detective. The power has been restored. Now. Continue your search for more dust. And you can eat your warm creamed corn, sir. <laughs> uh, funny it didn't lie. It would be neat if you would have said that. Like, my cream corn is cooked, detective. Yeah. It's always reassuring. Um, maybe 
for some reason you can come out of here and think. Maybe we'll find like a uh, picture. Okay. Well, at least there's power. What's that? Fish. Ah, we got our postcard. This is turning into a gold mine. Oh, this isn't for the bookcase, is it? I bet it is. It's probably gonna be a line. And we're missing the crab. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, then again, it was mentioned in the uh, room, too. Should be a crab, shouldn't there? Oh, we can zoom out more. Okay. That's a pretty cool view. There it is. See? It's clearly orange. Uh, if you've watched the other parts of the playthrough, you know that I had hell with that. Uh, because the crab in his study was also the typical orange-red color. Or red-orange. And uh, on the book, in addition to the case book covering it, that was like just a tan green color of the spine book. Uh, so that gave me a lot of trouble, you know, just wasted time, really, but, uh, again, I guess it was another puzzle that yours truly managed to solve out of order, uh, so, again, this is actually why I came here, you know, I had hopes that I would get a clue for the, uh, backyard puzzle, which I don't know that we will now that we've apparently, like, missed all this stuff, but it's kind of hoping there might have been like a uh, teddy bear or something up here. You know, I can see a little kid coming up. That's a cool shot of the uh, maze, you know, from right up here. Um, make sure there's nothing we can click in here. Clouds actually do look fairly uh, lifelike, you know, if you're in overcast weather. 17 minutes now. Uh, so, pretty cool, you know, we got in here. And we can do something with that. Ah, is that a teddy bear? Oh, <laughs> I've, I'm dead serious, that looks like a teddy bear, but, you know, I guess, I guess not. I guess we'll push this now. Nearly left by uh, doing it. Ah. A sweet momentary redemption. Uh, let me make sure that was it. Yeah, that was the little thing I saw that I said was a teddy bear, just wouldn't let us click it. So. Um, I think now I can head back. Let's make sure there's like nothing else in the rafters. Like a tear. Which I think we're still missing some. Jeez. The sound difference is because I had to uh, cut the grass. <laughs> so. Ah. So, let's press a little more chart like that. So, we're going to explore here a little bit now. And I don't see the teddy bear. So I don't check everything out here and then I might end it, you know, for the night. Oh, well. Okay, so that must be Elmore Bly, and I'm wondering if it's Rachel. Uh, no, she's holding a teddy bear. Okay, so Bly's got some of Malgrave's journals. Uh, this might be important. He's always talking about her said that he couldn't survive without her. Even after the experiment destroyed everything, I can't let him do it again. I must destroy Sarah. He's always talking about her. Said that he couldn't survive without her. Even after the experiment destroyed everything, I can't let him do it again. I must destroy Sarah. Okay, so... No to anyone planning a murder, uh, or 
inspiring. Uh, don't record yourself. Don't leave a paper trail. Uh, if you take anything away from this walkthrough, that's what I want you all all go home with. <laughs> uh, but on a serious note, uh, I don't know if that's like the granddaughter and you know Elmore's wife or something, but clearly, uh, you know, sounds like there are some issues there. On that note, I'm about to 20 minutes or a little past. I think I'll end it here, but I couldn't resist. <laughs> I had to go ahead and grab this. Looks like there's an owl there, too. Uh, I guess that's our little postcard. But, uh, like I said, I couldn't resist grabbing that when I saw it spinning. Uh, if it wasn't spinning, I probably would have left it. But We're going to continue exploring the windmill here. I'm going to try to find that teddy bear before I forget about it. But uh, this will wrap up part 31. We got power back on. Uh, Malgrave can have his cream corn cooked now. And, uh... We'll keep looking for clues for the uh, puzzle in his backyard, but uh, got any questions or comments, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to help you out, and as always, thanks for watching.